the HK VP9 OR long slide. Let's check it out. I've been a big fan of HK Firearms for a number of years, and their VP9 series is top notch. Uh, I really like the paddle design, but you can also get it in the B model with the push button. They've also offered a number of other different optics ready versions with their standard VP9 and with the long slide. Uh, this is an optics ready version. We've done a review on the standard long slide without their RMR cuts but this really gives you a long slide, great sight radius, it's very pointable, and yet you can adapt it for that optic, which is the rage right now. But today we're gonna to be taking a look at the kit, and this fits right on your standard VP9 frame, so it gives you the option of having your standard VP9 for concealed carry, and then if you wanna take it up a notch, you have your long slide with the RMR cuts. And I wanna thank HK for sending this kit for this test and evaluation. I'm a big fan of HK and I have the VP9 I love it in fact both of my sons that was their choice is the VP9 and I have a VP9 personally that I really like uh, HK is known for just really high quality and the VP9 is actually their best selling handgun and that's really for good reason I mean it's just your standard compact size more less than the full size and so you have that really good full shooting capability and yet, this makes a great concealed carry gun, just like your Glock 19. Uh, but the one thing about these, they don't have the RMR cuts. Now, they did come out with the 2020 model that does have the RMR cuts. But the great thing about the long slide is you're going to get that longer sight radius. And so it's going to allow you to be able to get even faster on target. Uh, but also, we have lightning cuts right here. So the, the mass of the slide is not going to be quite as heavy. Uh, and then we have, again, the cuts here for your optics ready. Uh, but the other thing it has is your suppressor height sights. Uh, they're blacked out at the back. And then we have a tritium sight at the front that's outlined in orange. And so it comes with the barrel, comes with the recoil spring. And uh, this is the flat recoil spring, which actually aids in recoil management. I love these cocking ears in the back. Uh, they allow you to get just a little more leverage. You don't slip off the back of it. And then really these lightning cuts act as forward serrations. And we're going to mount this and we'll kind of take a look at it. But we did do a review on the standard VP9L, which is their long slide. But this does not have the RMR cut or the optics cut. Uh, they had the adjustable sight on the rear and then we have a fiber optic sight on the front. And so this was great and still is great if you're not going with your optics. Uh, it just makes it a really nice package and it just gives you a little more sight radius. Uh, a little more slide length and there's something that's very pointable when you get those slides a little bit extended now here we have my standard VP9 uh, it is in the olive drab frame uh, but these slides will fit directly on to whether you have the paddle models or the B model with the push button mag release so it gives you really some great options just to be able to switch this in and out anytime you want to so if you want to carry this pistol you know you can and then if you want to switch it out for the long slide, it's really simple to do. In fact, we're gonna go ahead, drop our magazine, check to make sure the gun is unloaded. When you disassemble, you just bring it back, you engage your slide stop, bring down the lever, disengage your slide stop, and then it just pulls right off. You don't have to pull the trigger. Take the long slide, put it on, it goes straight on, slide lock, hit your lever, down, and you're done. Really easy. Now, it does come in this configuration with the frame, and of course, with the slide, it comes as a full pistol. If you get it that way, you get two 20-round magazines. And so that is another advantage. But the slide itself retails on the HK website for $4.99.
and the full pistol with the long slide and the optics cut comes in at $8.99 and that's full retail market price you know varies out there uh, you can find the kits and the pistol in a number of different online sources or you know at your local gun shop but on this the black nitride finish is really nice a little bit of an improvement over the standard long slide uh, this has the hostile environment finish it's a little more matte the black nitride gives it just a little more of a smoothness on the slide uh, but not anything that's going to be a detriment to cocking the firearm. And it makes it so easy to be able to grab the front lightning cuts again or here. And then with this little, uh, the, with the wings at the back, it gives you just a little more cocking surface. Now the sights are one-third co-witness, so you're going to be able to see it with your red dot mounted. It is a five-inch barrel over the four-inch barrel of the VP9. So it gives you about an inch difference. But the sight radius increases to 6.38 inches, and so that's going to give you about an inch more than your standard. Now one thing I don't like about a lot of the pistols that have the RMR or the optics cuts is that when you put on your sight, you've got to remove your back sight. There's a lot of different ones that have that. With the VP9OR, you're able to put in your sight and you can still retain your rear sight. Then when you bring in the VP9SK, I mean it really gets a lot shorter. And the VP9 SK is just an excellent pistol in itself. Again, you can see I'm a big fan of the paddle mag releases. Now you got to purchase your adapter plates separately because there are so many different choices out there. They didn't want to include all the adapter plates just to up the price. And so the one that they actually sent was for the RMR cut, and that's what we're going to use. Now the Holosan 507C does fit the RMR plate. And we're going to go with that. We've been testing this one already. And so this is actually an ACSS reticle from Primary Arms. And it has a chevron instead of the just the dot, which I'm a big fan of. And there's some other things about this. And we're doing a full review on this site. But we're going to go ahead and put it on the long slide and just see how she runs. And if you want to see the installation of the 507C, uh, we're going to have to have that on Get Zone because YouTube does not allow for installations, which is ridiculous. Now we have the site installed, and you'll notice it does have a solar backup battery. 100,000 hours on these guys. This thing is amazing. We're also going to take one of the standard VP9s and just test it out compared to the long slide. Now when it comes to magazines, the VP9 is a 15 plus 1. Magazines are excellently made, of course, HK. They're not cheap. Uh, one thing I would recommend is checking out X-Tech Tactical. They make same kind of magazines i mean they are honestly the only thing that is a difference and let me see because there's so many <laughs> this one has a groove down the front just a little bit of an indention uh, and it's the cuts are just a little bit different here at the back it's more of a key lock this is more of just a straight cut these are excellent mags we have used them quite a bit i mean they look almost exactly the finish everything about them and they function the same but then you get your 20 rounds. I think they do make the 20 round magazines, but they also make these extensions. Uh, very similar to what you're going to get if you order the OR as a full pistol. So check out X-Tech Tactical. We appreciate Fioki for sponsoring the ammo. All made right here in the USA and uh, good shooting stuff. Also, Lula Loaders, they're saving our thumbs every mag load. <laughs> Now we went down to the range, we shot the VP9L and the VP9 standard side by side a few times. Wanted to get a feel for, you know, the difference. Definitely was a difference. Uh, the long slide seemed to come back just a little bit more, but you could tell that these slide cuts were making a difference. Uh, to be honest with you, a lot of times when I'm taking long slide versions out to the range, it's a lot more mass coming back. So it's really a little bit more muzzle flip. I didn't find that with this, just a touch more, but not a whole lot. Uh, it seemed to really point well. It's one thing I like about it. It just seemed to point right where I was aiming. Now we were using the red dot, but the sights co-witnessed just right. I mean, in fact, the Chevron was on top of the front sight. I, I really like that. I like being able to see my sights. A lot of guns you know, out there, especially for red dots, they remove that back sight. I think this is really important to have that sight on there. But it really shot smooth. One thing that I really liked, of course, with that longer slide, it just seemed like your sight radius was longer when you were looking at the sights. Uh, one thing about the red dot is it's just really accurate. I mean, it gets it right in there when you're shooting it. It's parallax free, so it doesn't matter which way you move. Wherever that dot is, is your point of aim. 
We were shooting the 15 rounders and then we went to the 20 rounders. No issues whatsoever. Again, except a couple of times the slide didn't hold open. But guys, it's just a very smooth shooting firearm. Something about the way the cyclic rate, the slide comes back, it just really seems to settle down. Again, I'm not a big fan typically of long slides. Uh, it seems like with the mass, the extra barrel length and the extra slide mass, it just seems to flip just a little bit more than your standard models to the same pistol. But with the VP9L, especially the OR with this red dot, I really like this setup. I think it's going to be one that I'm going to keep this way. I have a number of them, but I don't shoot them that often. But with the VP9, I'm a big fan already of the VP9 series. And so having this is really going to be a bonus. Now I just need a new frame. So guys, if you want to up your game and you already have the VP9, it makes it easy to be able to get a long slide version with the RMR cuts and a lot of the other features. And then again, if you want to go straight in with the VP9 LOR in the full pistol, again, those are available as well. This is a great way to get into a long slide with those RMR cuts and it's HK quality. And we do appreciate HK for sending the long slide kit for this test and evaluation. Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market, and you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Those. We didn't get one. <laughs> I love HK products from different retail sources, from different sources, from different. And you can find, and we're going to mount one of the Holosan, and this is the VP9 Vampire something popper. <laughs>